Hi there, I'm Dieter Frolisch, Product Manager of Nearmap on OpenSolo, and what I'd like to do is take you through a quick demonstration of the features and benefits of Nearmap on OpenSolo, where we use the best in Nearmap imagery, vertical and obliques, with a very sophisticated solo design tool from OpenSolo. Where I'd like to start though is with the proposal that is sent to the customer. This is obviously this proposal is designed from Studio, which I'll take you through in a minute. Here we can see a proposal that has been emailed to a customer where I have provided multiple system options. In this case, I have a 16 panel system and a 24 panel system with a battery. The customer is very easily able to see that there's a system size, consumption, net cost of this particular solar system and the savings of the utility bill over lifetime. So here we can compare 16 and 24 panels as well. We're able to switch to different near map imagery through verticals and obliques. So the customer gets a very good idea as to what the system design would look like on their particular roof. The system hardware that has been chosen and sent through is provided as well. What does the total system performance look like between a 16 panel and a 24 panel system? What are the environmental benefits? How the actual energy will be distributed is graphically shown. And the electricity bill savings is also graphically shown as well. The net financial impact, utility savings over time minus the system cost equals the net savings estimated. And as you can tell very quickly between a 16 panel and a 24 panel system, what the net savings would look like when the payback starts and the total net savings amount as well. We're also able to change between a cash option and a loan option in this example where we can see that net savings is reduced as if a loan is taken out compared with cash. And we're also able to include various incentives as required. This is white labeled, essentially a white labeled proposal. So you're very easily able to add your uh, own company logo, company information, case studies uh, that you have for previous installations. Information about your company can be kept here. And then the proposal can be downloaded by the customer as well in PDF format. What I'd like to do now is take you through to Studio to show you how the system was designed. So here what I've done is I have pulled through near map imagery. This is an example of a vertical image. And I've also pulled through some oblique images as well. Northeast, southeast and southwest facing as well. I've created some roof geometry where I've actually added a ridge and a gutter and also aligned it so that I get a very accurate view of what the uh, slope is actually like for when I'm laying the panels. To lay panels and remove panels is very simple, just the click of a mouse. I'm very easily able to add panels and remove panels like that. And while I'm doing that, the system is automatically calculating the output power that I'm getting and the percentage compared to the customer's consumption is shown as well. Over here, I can choose the panels that I want. I have active, I have six active modules at the moment in this particular account, but I can search of a very extensive module database of which there's over 18,000 modules. I'm also able to choose my inverters. So in this case, I'm using a dummy power up inverter. I'm also able to then choose batteries. In this case here, I have added batteries I have a dummy battery here, but I'm also able to select from a database of 83 batteries. And for the inverters, I'm able to choose from a database of inverters as well. I can either string them automatically together, as you can see in this example, or I'm able to do manual stringing. And here I'm able to add multiple system options for the customer to actually choose between um, on the actual proposal. While I'm building out the proposal, I can either do the pricing scheme per watt. This is the example shown here. I can include it as a marker percentage. I can enter a price manually. I can enter a fixed price or I can manage pricing schemes depending on how, um, how my business operates. Incentives, there are a whole lot of incentives that can be added to your account. Here we have a STC example uh, for Australia. 
I can then add payment options. As I mentioned before, we can either have cash or loan options which are fully configurable. Costs and margins, while I'm building the proposal, I can have a look here between the different options. So in this case, I have a 16 panel system and after I have worked out the costs, the acquisition costs, fulfillment costs, any additional costs, based on my price per watt, I see a margin of 8667. For a 24 panel system with a battery, I see a margin of 14,064. So as an installer, I can very easily see what my pricing looks like. So that's Studio, very simple to use, very, very straightforward. If I go to projects, this is where I have my list of projects. I have, uh, in this case, I have two, two projects here for the demonstration. If I'm looking at the project that I showed you with the proposal, you have the address, the contact details, sales and service information can be kept here, sites detail information can be kept there electricity usage you can import the utility information through utility api this will be available soon and or i can actually edit the electricity usage here and very simply estimate uh, what the customer's usage is or i can add in exactly what the customer tells me electricity utilities there are many to choose from in this case i have chosen a energy australia residential no frills this is updated frequently. The case studies I've chosen, so I can add in numerous case studies. I've just added one, for example. And here you can see that I have two systems uh, on offer to the customer. I can have installation and compliance information, and I can upload files as well to this particular account. So I have here a mini CRM where I'm able to very easily go through a design sell install and maintain phase and i can update actions these are completely configurable as well and when i'm ready i can send an invitation to the customer to have a look at the proposal as well in control this is where i manage my business details here i have your solar company which would essentially be your company that you would add with about us information standard terms and conditions so you can add information there here i have a team of three at the moment here I can change email settings, how I'd like to access projects, how the customer would check out. There's current links to Stripe to be able to pay for the customer to check out straight away. And I have various uh, integrations that I can add as well. Utility tariffs, this is where you can either create your own or select from a list that you have. Incentives, you're able to easily add and remove incentives that are applicable to your region. We can add various document templates as required. Here is a proposal template that, you've, that I've shown you earlier. I have an all information proposal which contains all of the information that the customer sees in the proposal. Pricing schemes, this is where I can add my price per watt, fixed price or marker percentage, depending on how I would like to run my business. Payment options, here I have added a cash option where the customer pays up front or a loan over 20 years which for example can be modeled in this case 5% interest rate over, over 20 years which gets included in the proposal. Here's, this is where I added my case study. I can also add a lead capture form as well so this can be added to your particular website where you're able to embed this, this capture form and the inquiry that gets added to this form gets added directly into Neomap on Open Solar, and from there managed through the sales process. Under system design, I'm able to add and remove modules and edit them, edit the pricing as required. The same for inverters and the same for batteries. There is an extensive list of batteries already available. This is where I can add my studio simulation and cog settings. This is quite extensive. This is where I can add my setback information, tilt information, I have simulation settings in the finances of the proposal. This is where I do my COGS buildup. So here I have a price per system per panel or per watt. The same goes for acquisition costs, fulfillment costs that you've seen in the buildup while I'm building the proposal. I can also add additional costs as well if required. So very extensive um, price buildup in the background. 
project tags. This is where I can add various project tags to the, uh, to the system. And project actions. This is also configurable as well, depending on the stage. So all in all, a very easy system to use. Um, thank you.